Have you ever seen these really cool paintings by Giuseppe Arcimboldo, where he used objects from a still life like fruit and vegetables to create a portrait? Arcimboldo lived over 500 years ago in Europe, and he was so skilled, he was a court painter for very important emperors in Vienna and Prague. We see he could paint realistically, but he's most known for these whimsical curiosities he painted to amuse the court. He was able to create reverse portraits where they would look like a still life in one position and like a portrait in the other position. He used flowers, books, and even seafood. I'd like to also introduce Hanuk Piven. He's a contemporary artist that uses objects in a very playful way to create portraits as well. He believes that all objects have meaning. He considers himself a professional player of objects. Here he did a series of presidents based on their personalities. You can do a drawing using objects or food to create a portrait. If you like to draw food, this might be an awesome technique for you. You can also use cut magazine images to create a collage of a person with food. You get really beautiful results that way as well. Or you might even go so far as to create an animation using objects or food and show the creation of a face. Or you can just build a face and take a beautiful photograph of it. I'd like to focus on how you can make a digital collage using Google Slides or Seesaw or another online application. In Seesaw, I made art that looks like this. So in Seesaw, you might have an activity, and in this one, there's a template that has a lot of different fruit and vegetable and other objects in the template. You can use the hand tool to select whichever object you want to move around. You can rotate it using the rotation tool at the top of the square. You can grow it by pulling a corner, clicking and tugging it out. You can change the order of objects by clicking the three dots and going to order. You can bring it to the top or send it to the back. And that way you can get different objects to be in front of one another. If you'd like to copy any object, press Control C on a keyboard. Control V will then paste that object even if it's into a new slide. Here, I am making a duplicate of this avocado and I am moving it over to be another eye. I can flip it backwards by using a side dot and moving it across. That way I have two totally symmetrical eyes. I went around and deleted all of the extra pieces I didn't use in my collage and I will now press check to submit this. If you are older or have a lot of computer experience, you can find your own images online doing an image search. Here in Google, I can press image and see what picture of a brush I might want to bring into my collage. Once I find one I like, I can right click or two finger click on the object. And there I go, two fingers are pressing on my Chromebook pad. And that gives me a pop-up menu. And I'm going to choose Save Image As. And it gives me a chance to name the image, whatever I want, and save it into my downloads. I will go ahead and type Brush and then press Save. So now that picture of Brush is on my Chromebook. I'm going to go to a website that is called remove.bg slash upload. And it's a really simple website where you can remove the background for any image, kind of converting it into a sticker. 
Here I'm going to upload that brush picture that I just got, putting it back up onto the internet. And I can see that there is now a version of the brush with no background and I can press that blue download button. Now I have a sticker of the brush also on my computer. In Seesaw, I can go over to the camera menu and press upload. I can find my brush photograph and bring it in, but whoops, that's the wrong one. That's what happens if you bring in a normal photograph. I'm gonna go instead back into upload and find the more recent version that has the background removed. And you will see just like magic, I can move this around in my activity slide just the same way as all those other little stickers and elements. When you're finished, you can clean up your art by removing any slides that aren't a part of your art. You can remove any extra elements that are not a part of your art. So that all you have left is your awesome portrait featuring objects and really creative choices. Here I'm deleting some more slides and I'm just gonna leave behind my awesome portrait here. I think you're gonna have so much fun making an Arcamboldo inspired collage.